Hey everyone, it's Millie. So I received a lot of requests of you guys to test out some more cheap websites. I've had Runway, AliExpress, eBay, Wish, and I've gone for AliExpress, AliExpress this video, not too sure how to pronounce the name. Basically a website that sells really cheap clothes and I'm gonna see if it's legit or not. I like how on the camera I look kind of brown. I'm really not. A few days ago I was in LA, decided to do the Hollywood hike, thought, who needs sun cream, right? Wore none. This happened, I burnt and peeled and I'm very red, but it looks brown on camera for some reason. I don't know. I've just mentioned LA. What a great time to plug. If you do want to follow me on my social medias to see what I got up to in LA, here's my Instagram and here's my Twitter. Okay, packages now. I have quite a few. We're going to unbox them and see what we got. Yeah. Acrylic nails and sticky packages are not the best combination in the world. First package. That looks really promising. Oh, I know what this is and it's not impressive at all. <laughs> okay, oh, it's supposed to be like this, but it really shouldn't be because it doesn't look natural. Right. So I love the alien like cropped sweaters. I think they look so cool. So I got this. The actual alien on it as well has like loose threads everywhere and it's like half coming off as well, like at the edges. That was that's really not good. Obviously I can't expect much because I paid such a low price for them. I think everything here was five dollars. And by the way, I'm British, but on this website I pay for everything in dollars and that's why I say dollars. As for the material, I mean the material doesn't feel terrible at all. It's just kind of average, I guess. Not like the comfiest material, but just what you'd expect for the price that I paid. Um, but it's extremely heavy at the same time. It looks like it'd be quite warm. It's also got rips on the back as well, but they look just as accidental as the ones on the front. Ah. Oopsies, excuse me. I'm just gonna do this one in my room because I might as well. This is the alien top. And can I just say, even though it's cropped, I've had it on for literally 30 seconds and it's quite a hot day in England. And I can already tell that I would get so, so hot in this. Like the material is so, so thick. The alien symbol, as you can see, just isn't really working out. I don't, I hate the threads and everything like that to do with it. It does look like it's about to come off. If you can see, like it looks like you can just peel it off like a sticker. For the price, it's not bad at all, but just as a general review, I don't like the rips and it's extremely hot. I don't know what the material is, I've never felt the material quite like it, but I'm not a fan. Next package. Oh, um, hmm, I think this is a play suit that I ordered. Oh, this is cute, I like this. Yes! That was so white, never do that again, Millie. But it's actually not terrible at all. Like it's a very, even though the material's not great, it's like a very summery material, really lightweight, you know, you won't get too hot wearing on the beach kind of thing. I actually like it. It looks like it's got quite good shape to it as well. I mean, I haven't put it on yet, but it looks like it does. It's a vast improvement from the first t-shirt anyway. Oh, it's got adjustable straps as well. I'm very impressed with that. I do need adjustable straps as well, especially when it's plunged so you can like get it to the right height. Mm, what do you think, Charlie? <laughs> What do you think? This is the complete outfit and I am shook. <laughs> like honestly, it is just everything about it is so perfect. The adjustable straps mean that it fits perfectly in this area. The waist strap is the perfect height. It goes down to the perfect length so it's not too short, like even from the back. So it's not too, sh so it's not too short even from the back. Too short even from the if I saw this in a store, I would first of all definitely try it on and then if it fit like exactly how it does now, I would buy it like for way more than $5 as well. I would happily buy this. So that this is a steal, like a steal and a half. Next one. I do absolutely love doing these unboxing videos. So if you do want to see more, make sure to leave a thumbs up or even leave a comment below. Let me know what websites you want me to try out, whether it's, you know, wrong way, wherever it is. Let me know in a comment. And if you see a comment that's suggesting an idea that you like, give it a thumbs up to that comment so I know what you want to see in the future. It doesn't even have to be a testing video. It can literally be anything. Do you want to see me? That was a good crack. Do you want to see me do a video testing Australian candy? Do you want to see me film a video with my dad, Jacob Sartorius? Anything, literally leave a comment and I will do it. I think these are jeans. 
And I wanted to get like a range of different outfits, so like testing the jeans, the tops, the play suits, dresses and stuff. So these are the jeans that I got. Um, okay, I'm not really feeling the material of them. Obviously, I can't expect much because they were extremely inexpensive. But just as a general review, I don't really like the material. Um, the like embellishments, like this rose here is tied on. And I'm not really feeling it because much like the Alien, it's sewed on in the same kind of thing, like really thin threads and it looks like it's about to come off. I'd have to try them on to give a proper honest review. So let's try them on. I've just re-put on this uh, the Alien t-shirt, but these are the uh, pants and for the price, they are absolutely amazing. But as for like a clothing item itself, like disregarding the price completely, I mean, they're not the best just for the fact that like the... I mean, they fit okay, they're just really long and I'm not exactly like really short, I'm five foot seven, but they are really like long on the legs, so if they like barely tuck into the, uh, so they barely tuck into the, uh, so they barely tuck into, the, so they barely tuck into the boots, uh, <laughs> something that I definitely don't like about them is this, what would you say like the embellishment symbols are sewn on, because they just feel like very papery. I don't know, I mean, I wouldn't personally wear them, but for the price, they are absolutely incredible. Okay, this one looks really, really weird. It's extremely small, quite worrying. Oh, I like the design on this. I keep worrying about the material. I mean, I'm not like a fashion designer or anything, but this material's like really, really thin. It's not re so much bad, yeah, it is bad quality, but it's extremely thin. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's a dress. Right, okay. I actually do like the design on this though because it's not gonna like come out because it's not like sewn on or anything. I mean, it might wash out. That isn't bad. I actually really do like that. Again, I do think that it would wash out and the material is extremely thin as well. But I mean, from a distance, it doesn't look like it was cheap or inexpensive. It looks quite expensive. Depends how good your eye is for things like this. I really, really like this. I hope it actually does look good when it's on. Okay, this one again is in my room, so I'm having to like stretch up so I can fit the whole of the dress on the camera. I would wear this as a dress because it's definitely too long to wear as a t-shirt, especially if you're wearing like baggy pants or something like that, it just wouldn't look right. I again, love the detail on this. I think it's symmetrical on the back as well in terms of the detail. I'm still a bit sketched with the material because it's extremely thin. And something else I noticed is that this would crease extremely easily. But saying that, I mean, if you're going somewhere for a beach day and you need something to throw over the top of your bikini, this is perfect because it would dry so quickly and it's extremely lightweight as well. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I have no idea what this is. Again, I forgot everything that I ordered, so this is like a Christmas to me. No, <laughs> I haven't even taken it out, but I'm just looking at that and I'm like, mm -mm, no, not feeling that. Oh, it's okay. I absolutely love this style of dress. So it's a high neck dress that goes down like that and it's a mini dress as well. And it's a sequined black mini dress. My favorite, favorite kind of dress. Short black dress with sequins. That's what I like. Do you know it's got that really scratchy material? I don't know if you can hear this, but... I feel like a cat. I don't like that feel of it. Oh, that makes me cringe as well because I've got acrylic nails on so it like goes through them. The zip quality test. Easy, doesn't get stuck, I like that. Uh, and there's something else I can see this doing is because the sequins overlap on the neck bit, I can imagine that just like really, really irritating my neck and just like scratching it constantly. All right, so this is the final dress. Now, the material of this is extremely uncomfortable. It's scratching me everywhere right now. I could not wear this for more than like five minutes without feeling extremely uncomfortable. However, as for the fit, I mean, there's quite a bit of room in this area, but as for everywhere else, it fits perfectly, especially in the lower region does fit really well. However, I did just walk about the house in this to try and find my camera battery charger and it doesn't leave much room to walk. Like it's really tight and not stretchy at all. It felt like if I were to like sit down, I would like break it and it would just completely rip. AliExpress is extremely similar to eBay in the sense that it's very hit and miss, you know, because each seller is individual. So for example, this play suit is amazing. I love it. The material isn't even bad quality. It looks like it will fit well. I actually am in love with this. However, the t-shirt and those jeans were very dodgy, but they were all the same price. So it really does depend on the seller. 
I do hope that you enjoyed this video anyway and if you are still watching thank you so so much for watching the entire video. I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.